Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this channel. Here we go with today's news. The Arab weekly newspaper that prints in London has praised the measures taken by the Sultanate's government to Omani's more jobs. A statement issued online by Oman news agency ONA said the Arab weekly newspaper that is issued in London praised the measures taken by Sultanat's government in humanizing more jobs and moving forward with the implementation of economic reforms. The newspaper said in a report, the Sultanate's government is seeking to revitalize the economy and open the job market to Omani citizens. The newspaper considered that humanizing policy carried out by the Sultanate will not affect the foreign private companies and foreign investors in a view of economic advantages and incentives that the companies enjoyed in the Sultanate. Stressing that Sultanate's political environment provides foreign companies with security and stability, the statement added. Now here we go with today's COVID news in Oman. The COVID-19 epidemic has caused severe damages to the job sectors, with the equivalent of 255 million job loss across the world in 2020, according to the International Labour Organization. Oman news agency ONA said, in its seventh report devoted to the effects of the epidemic on business world, the United Nations organization said that in 2020, Aprox 8.8% of the working hours in the world were lost as compared to the fourth quarter in 2019, equivalent to 255 million full-time jobs, meaning a loss of four times more working hours as compared to the period of financial crisis in 2009. Guy Ryder, the head of International Labour Organization, has noticed that this is the most severe crisis on the world of work since the Great Depression of 1930s. Since the emergence of pandemic in China a little more than a year ago, it has killed more than 2.1 million people, infected tens of millions, and devastated the global economy. The organization stated, about half of the lost working hours were calculated from the reduced working hours for those who remained at work and that the world also witnessed unprecedented level of job losses the last year.